Hi everybody, this is April. I just wanted to share with you how to put this card kit together. I found this at Michael's. It's a light up card kit and it comes with um, the quantity to make two light up cards. The design will be the same that you see there on the front of the packaging. I'm just going to take everything out here um, and just kind of review what the contents are. So you have two envelopes. You have a roll of just double sided tape. A glue, uh, just a glue stick, which I did not use. You have some really large, thick um, foam squares. It's just long strips. You have two light units, which these are basically already um, pre-made, so they're already all put together. You don't have to do anything. There's no coil or any tapes like that you have to work with. These are the little embellishments and a push here sticker. These are the card bases, which are really cool. Um, here's the die cuts. You have two deer. Now, I don't know if mine were just wrong or printed backwards, but you'll see at the end my design, the deer is facing the opposite way than the sample card. So you have um, two vellum sheets that have your sentiment. And wishing you a sparkling holiday. You have the green bases that are um, that green card base. So here's the design on the front, which makes it super, super easy to assemble these cards. And that is just the very base that's going to go over your foam. This is an outer frame. And you have some little snow banks that will go behind the sentiment. So I've just taken one set and I'm reading the directions as I go. It tells you to put some double-sided tape on the back of the uh, battery and light element. Um, there is actually double-sided tape on the actual bulb, so I'll take that off and redo it. In the middle, you'll see I'm going to switch here, taking that already came with double-sided tape, so you don't need to do that, but this is the switch button. So it actually has a button that switches it on and off, so I put tape there and I put tape on the battery pack. You'll want to remove the little plastic sheath that's going to engage the battery positive to negative. So now the light's automatically on. And, <clears throat> excuse me, looking at your display, it tells you exactly where to glue these things down. So put your light there, put your push button there. And I kind of messed with these wires, so I think that's why my light was flickering. Um, you might want to just keep that in mind when you're assembling, just to make sure your wires are secure. But so you see the push button just turns the light off. And then what I'm just here, I'm doing here is just reading the directions. It says to adhere the uh, vellum piece to your frame. And then I'm just trying to kind of get an eyeball of what everything will look like here. Um, turn that light on and see where things are going to go and line up. But um, so I'll start with the outer frame. And yeah, see my deer is backwards, but that's the side that looked better to me. <laughs> so I don't know, maybe it wasn't supposed to be this side, but that side actually looked nicer. So I put it that facing inward. But yeah, so I'm going to take the first step would be to adhere your vellum to that outer frame. And I'm just using the um, tape that came in the kit. But uh, if you had, you know, a glue runner or just whatever tape you have on hand would be fine. So I'll put this vellum down and then um, adhere the little snow bank behind the sentiment. There you go. So that's going to make your sentiment pop out a little bit better. Now I just wanted to do an example of what actually came into the kit, but the other set that came with it, it comes with a set of two, so you can make two of these cards. I thought I would use some vintage photo and really do like um, a vintage look with all of the materials and kind of go around and edge the deer with some uh, vintage photo ink. And I just thought that would be really nice too. You could even use like shabby shutters if you wanted to stick with a sage green and do it vintage that way. I think that would be beautiful. Now on this card front, the panel, it actually has lines. It tells you, please line up your foam right within those lines. So that makes it really easy to 
frame everything in and this is super thick foam so really nice you don't have to do anything your battery your light your push button everything is secure so you're not doing anything except for putting that outer frame around and that's just going to give it the height you need to you know protect all the elements that are lighting up and then I'll just release um, all the release paper off of here and place the green panel now in this kit is um, obviously every kit is different but I would assume that the assembly is going to be similar just depending on what elements you have so you're gonna have your card base you're gonna have this panel that goes over the light so want to line up the hole with wherever your light is placed on the card pack that you get and then of course just right over the top of that um, is going to be this this frame and then all of the other elements are going to go on top now I struggled for a minute here with this push here button because the push button lines up like right underneath that sentiment and I thought well I'm not gonna put that sticker right over my sentiment but ultimately it's kind of like one of those stickers like removable stickers so um, I just kind of placed it over towards the side and I think the recipient would understand, okay, let me push somewhere in this vicinity. And then once they figured out, oh, it lights up, they would take that little sticker off and it wouldn't tear the paper. Now, of course, because I was doing this looking down on the camera, I got it really off centered. But, you know, you're not going to be doing this underneath the camera. So you should be able to line this up better than I could. And then you'll see I put that sticker there over to the side and it will come right back off because it's one of those really um, easy to remove stickers, like a removable. And then I just added some multi matte medium to line up my snowflake right over the light. I'll bring in my uh, little embellishment of the deer. I'm just using some Tombow Mono on this one. And I'll do the same thing with the other snowflakes and just adhere those to the card. Now, um, I didn't design it exactly the way the card sample shows, but you know, it's all, you, you can do it however you want. You could add other things um, that you have in your stash to this if you wanted to. Um, I had a little smudge on the bottom left, so that's why I ultimately put one of the uh, snowflakes on the bottom left but so that's really about it it came together pretty quickly once you kind of got the concept down and for sure this I have a chibichonics uh, kit but I haven't used it yet so this was really fun to work with kind of gives me an idea of how making a light up card would be um, so yeah I think it really was pretty easy to assemble and it makes a beautiful card so I hope you give it a try